Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out on the Citadel here in West Hill. As we have been all week, I've had extra time this week, so it's been fun to poke at this build a little bit every day. We are actually in the small Riverside Inn, hanging out here on the second floor, and we are going to start today with the roof because we have finished the inside. Yesterday we did some extra work down in the basement. Finished off all the details down here. We do have the secret tunnel yet to dig, but we've got laundry, we've got dry storage, some grain, a little bit of spillage on the floor. And we now have details and the pillars and everything else upstairs. So I, I wanna get the roof finished is my priority today. And then hopefully we can move on to the grounds where I'm gonna plant some rose bushes and do some other stuff like that. But the roof has kind of a proof of concept and I'm thinking it might be fun because it's the door is off center, like it's it's actually down this way a little bit. I think we might be able to squeeze in a window right there. I think that could be fun. It depends on where it ends up in the room upstairs, but that's the plan. Cosmic Dancer, thanks for the lurk. Happy, sweet Sandy, Grandpa Crafter, Insane Value, Scotsman. Good to see everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Uh, our inventory is thankfully pretty light, although I do want to empty this block a little bit. Put those in there. We need those. I feel like I can probably just turf that. That can actually get put back somewhere. Snow's out here now. Paper, I think, did I bring those out? No, I don't think I did. I'm trying to keep all the spare blocks in one spot. Don't remember where I put half of this stuff. I don't need the bucket. Actually, we're going to need those. So we'll grab extra signs, slabs, stairs. End of the week, says Grandpa Crafter. Yeah, today was errands for me. I'm a little, I was right up to the wire. I finished lunch about five minutes ago. I, I was running errands this morning. And uh, I got to hang out with my dad. Dad got a new car. Uh, I think it's a Kia Seltos. It's a Kia. He previously drove a Kia Soul. But the thing about this one, it's called, it's called Pluton Blue. You look up the color online. It's a really, really pretty car. I mean, it's an SUV, really. It's it's a it's a pretty decent sized vehicle. I might want to put another stack or two of cracked bricks in there. Let's do that. Oh, I've already started that. So a stack and a half. That should sort that out. I 
I don't think the bricks would look good in the roof. I think it might look like too much, but I'll bring them up anyway. So we've got that. Slabs and stairs. Most of the stuff we need is already up there. Mythorical, hello, hello, welcome in. Key is a nice car, yeah. Yeah, I dad's had that Kia for 10 years, the old one. And whenever I borrowed it, I always quite liked it. Really nice size. Like, I, I don't, I'm not a big car guy. Like, I'm not into cars that much. Outside of Forza, weirdly, I really enjoy Forza Horizon 4 and 5. And I get right into it. But I don't like tweak the cars. I don't know anything about them. But I, I like that game quite a bit. Um, I think... I think we're good. I might need some spruce trapdoors. Oh, pressure plates. We can make those on the fly anyway. Okay. So the good news is I don't have to worry about the bottom here because we're just focusing on the roof. So I can put some permanent scaffolding here to help us. I need the bricks. Another rack. There's always something. A Kia Seed. A Nero Hybrid. Oh, cool. I didn't... Dad just got a real... Like a pretty basic... Basic car. Uh, if I was to put a window... Where would I put the window? I'd say probably on this third one. So I'm just curious. I want to say it's right here. I think this goes into the bedroom at the end. Oh, it goes into the corner. Okay, so it would be here where a window would make sense. So it'd have to be a lot smaller than that. And I'll see what it looks like from the inside. I'm also not sure I like that little bit of, um, hmm. Yeah, up against the wall would feel weird. It might not look too bad. I'd have to move the tripwire hook. That was a window. I think that makes more sense. But if we do that here, it'll be something a little bit, probably more like this. It might not be the best looking thing. Yeah, we might have to just use the top. Pressure plates are going to drive me nuts for a little while. I 
I guess we could put oh no that has to be that has to be a stair the inside I guess we could do it here same idea and then I have to change this into a stair That looks okay. And that could be seen from the inside. I want to get more of this red nether brick in here. And that's probably about as much as we can do. That might look a little bit funny. It might be better to do uh, to do um, mangrove here. Yeah. I did mangrove. That stays there. There's no real way to make that work, I don't think. Coming out here is going to look funny. Well, I put that the wrong way. I guess that could be, we could make those um, oak. It gets pretty heavy looking at that point. But that does mean we could put in a trapdoor here to try and bridge it a little bit and potentially maybe some fences or something. Oh, uh, I think I like that. I wish we had a way to do vertical slabs because I feel like that's kind of one of the problems here. I think that works pretty well. We might even be able to get away with changing this to a stair. If I wanted to move more nether rack in here, I feel like this ends up being part of the ceiling somehow. I feel like I'm missing parts of the wall.
Yeah, vertical slabs would be nice. Not sure why that was missing. Maybe it was it was probably concrete powder that then fell when I was adjusting something yesterday. That's more than likely what happened. If I put nether rack in that room, does it look weird? Oh, you can't even see it. And there. That's fine. I don't think that's a big deal. I like that addition. The window is good. It's just a matter of making it look good on the inside. So if I wanted to get rid of these pressure plates... Then we could potentially put in one of these fence colors. And I would say the oak looks better. Unfortunately, it connects over there. Hmm. I wish we could control that too. That would be nice. What is it attaching to? Solid block. I might like that better than the fences. I think maybe with a spruce sign there would look good. It means that we don't put the pressure plates on top of the blocks, which is tricky. Matt B, good to see you. I think that's fine. You're not going to see it from above that much anyway. I am tempted to see what this would look like if we changed this. Oh, that's going to change inside there. So we'll have to double check. That might change things too much inside. And that barrel is in a weird... Oh, well, I've got that. I removed that so I can walk around on the roof. Oh, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. That might have to go somewhere else. Mm, not there. That's fine. It looked better with a uh, mangrove behind it, but if this looks better on the outside, then I'm happy to keep it. Mm. I think I like it better as mangrove.
Yeah, it's just a little tidier. Blast Jordan, good to see you, good to see you. I really get turned around in here. Yeah, that looks better anyway. Best of both sides. All right, so I want to try to put some netherrack here. And then from there, I think this level has to have signs. And I don't remember whether I was planning on doing signs like that or whether it messes up the, uh, yeah, it makes it look a little patchy. So we'll keep it consistent, I think, on this level. But then this level, we'll just leave it as I've got it. And then it's just a matter of whether or not we can add some things here. I feel like I want to add another bit of nether rack maybe in that space. What's one of my favorite bands? Uh Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin. I like ACDC as well. For a while there, I was more into like Solo artists, like singer-songwriters. I really like Dua Lipa. Her stuff reminds me of the music I used to listen to in high school. Super talented. Um, who else I listen to? I don't listen to a lot of music. Um, and I'm, I'm not a music buff, so like I couldn't tell you what albums, what songs. Like I just... I'm the kind of person that will just say, you know, tell my phone to play... Led Zeppelin and just let it go. I've got no knowledge as to where where the songs come from. Like what album they come from. I really want to put I think I might sacrifice the pressure plates here for a sign. This cam is going to be very handy for this roof. So it lines up a little straight there. So I might put that one to the left because it seems to be nether rack going straight up in the line there. So I'll just nudge that over this way.
that. Yeah, that's working pretty well. And then I think because of that, I'll change this back to that. This is where the concept of what I'm doing in the roof was good. I'm just kind of fine tuning what's going on. Oh, that feels a little even, doesn't it? I try not to have things look like they're evenly spaced. Especially with texture. That's pretty good. Really feels like the roof has gotten stripped bare, which I like. And I don't know if I'm in love with the pressure plates. Maybe we don't need them. Yeah, you know what? I think I like the texture difference without them. Could almost get another piece of netherrack up there. Uh, what mod? It's uh, FreeCam. Is the name of it. You can map it to a key. So I just hit F4. And you can change where you start, and then you just you move around. It's a little quick, but you can change that if you want to mess with it. Yeah, that's good. I'm actually using a lot more netherrack than I thought I would. Which is good, because, I mean, that's such a rare moment to find netherrack useful. Oh, I just realized I don't have signs on that end did i put the nuts on them i didn't maybe i should that side too
What's cool is that you can almost get a halfway between a plank and a smooth uh, mangrove wood, stripped wood, with the plank with the fence on top. Yeah, cool. Okay, I think that's that part of the roof done. I could maybe use a light spot in here. So we'll go back over here. Now here, I think I can keep some of these pressure plates. But I do want to, maybe I'll, I'll keep that. Unless I can sacrifice this. That's not seen. So we can maybe have that going on. I'm going to need to replace this anyway, so let's just make it coarse dirt. It is like spectator mode. And here's the thing. I have, I'm OP on the server. It's my server. So, like, I can go into spectator mode. Uh, but it's got this weird kind of, like, that glidiness that happens when you're in creative. And there's no collision. So, like, you can go underneath and see caves and stuff if you want to. And it's also a lot to switch back and forth and my player moves. That's the nice thing about the free cam is that your player doesn't move. So you can um you can leave yourself up on the roof, back up and then look at stuff and then with one key press you're you're right back to where you were. This will just be easier to put scaffolding on top of. It's sort of like more of an advanced F5. Yeah, I mean, F5 does the same thing, but then you can't leave your character. And then there's that other click that brings you into this mode. And I think I've told people about this. I've got a... It used to work. Yeah, I used to have a, a mouse macro, but I closed my mouse software down because it lags my computer, which is really annoying. Because it's a great mouse, but Razer makes bloated software. Because my mouse used to change to like green lights when I was in Minecraft and orange lights when I was in Satisfactory. And it was really cool, but, you know, and I had some custom buttons, but I can't access the macro buttons without accessing the software, which is really annoying. You'd think they would be able to come up with a lightweight way to do it. So I decided to go stairs there all the way along. I wonder if it's worth doing that here.
I could flip those. Well, no, because then that's in the way. It's all right. We'll leave it. I think we're good. I do want to bring some more netherrack up into this area, though. So right in front of me here. Now that's going to be seen inside. I'll have to be careful. Double check that. And then I'd say one on the, one on the end. And then I'll change this one. This is actually going a lot faster than I thought it would. I want to switch these two, I think. Yeah. There is some times when you're in this camera mode where you I've caught myself trying to pick up items and I've caught myself trying to pit, like break signs and stuff, but you can see it goes from planks to smooth with a sign and then smooth. And it just, it has a nice transition. That's kind of what I'm going for, but this is really invaluable and it will be fantastic in the modern city when you, you're working on skyscrapers that are a hundred blocks tall and you're trying to figure out like, did you remember to do the balconies all the same way? Like that kind of stuff will be really, really, really handy. Now, I don't think I want to put the little accents on there. No, I think it's kind of distracting and it would be a lot. We'd have to do it on every lo every piece and I think it would just be a little bit too much, a little bit too busy maybe. Plus, it would be a ton of work. <laughs> but I think, I think that's it. Like, I think that's, we already had the basics going in here. I'm still not crazy about these trap doors. I kind of want to do something else, but unfortunately we're stuck with how the fence is attached there. I guess I could try stairs, upside down stairs. If it was spruce, I think it would work a little bit better. Spruce wood that we're dealing with really. Hmm. Even that feels kind of thick. Maybe if I flip them the other way around. Or maybe if I put them this way. Neither of those look good. Uh, what do I have for walls? Do I have any red walls? Brick, granite, and nether brick. Rooster mug, haven't seen you in a bit. Hope things are well. Uh, walls are gonna do the same thing. 
and they're a little bit too dark. Hmm. <laughs> I'll try the fences again. See if this grows on me. One thing I could try would be to put it well, we'd lose that sign. If I put a trapdoor here, that fence would then connect to it in the same way. No, that looks awful. All right. Back to the way it was. Uh, doing well, Rooster Mug. Thanks. Yeah. Doing well. So I think that's about as pointy as I want this bit to be. We've got... A little bit of work to do over here. I feel like I do it on the if I do it on select signs, it'll have more more meaning. I think I've got enough on the roof. Yeah, cool. That's that side done. To put my stairs back where I left them. So I just had to double check to make sure that the changes didn't affect anything too badly inside. Some netherrack there. It's the only thing I'm not super crazy about. That's fine. Can't put a sign there. I could, I could put a stair there. Oh, that's a slap. Never mind. Those changes are fine. So really it's just that that's a little bit of a problem, but I'll see if I can move that. So we're right over there. Okay. I might need to move that nether wreck. Change it back. Editing signs now is very, very handy, Sandy. I agree. Good work today. Log off early. Hey, that's always a good feeling, Cosmic. I agree. So, which one is it? It is... It's hard to do small movements with this camera. That's the thing. Right above that. So, it's that one. I could move it one to the left, I think. 
Sorry, to the right. One to the left inside, I mean. Yeah, I'd rather it be up here than over this bookshelf. Yeah, it's much cleaner looking there and doesn't really affect much here, so good. Calling that done. And now that we've got actually that could be kind of cool as a as a spruce sign. Yeah. Now that we're done busting stuff around. Uh, on the outside, we don't have to worry about popping stuff off inside. Then everything on this this end could get tweaked. I like all of that. Good stuff. I did bring some bricks. It's a little distracting. It might even be worth changing that to deep slate. I know it would be inconsistent, but I think it's going to be hidden by a bush. Is it this one or is it the one lower? It's that one. We'll at least change it to brick because it's less, less pink. It doesn't jump out at you as much, I guess. No, an upside down stair here, I think would smash you in the face. That comes really close. So we'll stick with lab. Okay, so that is the front done. Excellent. I haven't decided if I want this to be a dirt path. I imagine some of it's going to be stone. I do know I want this to change. They're pretty much the same. Don't need the pressure plates anymore, I don't think. think I'll keep the fences just in case but I'm a little early for my first break but I think it might be a good time to take it now before I start the back and this is not going to be as much work because the tower of course well I say that of course we still have to do the tower uh, but this will be a little bit easier to get through because it's not as much roof for the main hall and then we'll have to do the textures on the tower as well that's going to be tricky That's going to be tricky. But anyway, I think what I'll do is I'll take that first break now. 
If you're new to the channel, I do step away about once an hour. It gives me a chance to refill the old coffee. Gives you a chance to grab a snack or a friend, your own cup of coffee, whatever it is. And uh, spread the word. The more people watching the stream, the better I can do. Ranger3306, hello. Uh, when you do sign characters as if they were nails, do you ever only do two or three instead of four? Uh, no, I've tried that before and it looks funny. It looks like I forgot a piece, so I, I kind of just do it the way that I do it. Plus, it's faster. All right, folks, I'll be back in five or six minutes.
Rooster Mug, you're saying that you uh, you updated your storage system to accommodate for the crafter. I've thought about adding that data pack that Hermitcraft has to uh, to get the crafter early, but I don't know that I'm going to finish West Hill because I've been expanding this whole West Hill thing to include um, the surrounding valley as I've been doing more landscaping and of course like this inn and the different things to make West Hill feel like it's not plunked, you know, down here. And I don't know that I'll finish it before 1.20 comes out. 1.21 rather. You know what I mean? The crafter. So, I mean, I'd be happy to add it for people like Alistair on the server, maybe Matt Cast that would be interested in it. But the problem is that it's 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 not going to work as soon as 1.20.5 comes out. If we update, I don't think we're going to update to 1.20.5. The, the chats that I've been having, the plan is to probably stick on 1.20.4 until 1.21 comes out. All right, let's just remove a portion of this so it's a lot easier to get back here. And put up some scaffolding. Wrong spot. And I need more coarse dirt. The goal is to make an ice highway in the nether. Oh, that's cool. We don't have anything quite that fast. I really wish you didn't hit doors on the corners when you had them open. Word Nerdify, good to see you. CJ, I saw you guys were having a big chat in the uh, in the Discord. About the latest Minecraft update, the snapshot. Closer to Friday, yep. Days of the week for me, they just all kind of blend together. Right, so we want to add some darker blocks in here. Starting with this one. I feel like maybe we can do a nether rack here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, because if I do nether rack there, I can do bricks here, and then I can put signs on both sides of that. And that'll work out okay. That's behind the table. That's also fine. And this is kind of a dark corner. That doesn't matter because that's got the mantle in it. Let 
Wouldn't mind having a little bit more red nether brick. Wonder if I can squeeze this. Should be okay behind the table. If that's the case though, then I gotta switch this. Cool. And then wonder where that's going to be. Way up in the corner, covered by some things. That's fine. And then inside, there's a stripped log right next to the uh, this beam. That's a little on the heavy side. Is that my last sign? That was my last sign. Right there. More signs required. Oh, yeah, I'm used to that word nerdify, the different time zones and different um, people around the world. The thing that blows my mind, because I do a lot of the, um, I do a lot of the uh, stat, the, like the data collection for the spawn chunks. And so uh, I, um, I guess that's it there. Yeah, uh, let's switch that planks. And I don't know. I mean, I know that Minecraft is obviously a huge international game, but we're an English speaking podcast. So when you've got listeners in India, Ghana, like in the top 10 countries, like the top four for spawn chunks is very easily um, US, UK, Canada and Australia and Australia and Canada kind of fight for third place. Uh, and then after that, it goes into like usually European countries like Norway, Sweden. Um, but then we've also had some very strange, like Singapore and some other like, like countries that I have never been on the list before are all of a sudden on the list. And it's just wild to me. Next podcast uh, just came out on Monday, so we, we release every Monday for Spawn Chunks. And this time I think we've got Mog Swamp coming on on Monday. One of Johnny's server mates on SOS and is a uh, super flat player. Ranger3306, thanks very much. Uh, have you followed? Hopefully you followed, and we'll see you again. But thanks for the well wishes, and take care. We'll see you again soon. Listen to the podcast, thespawnchunks.com, or available on any of your favorite podcast platforms.
Singapore is 40% English speaking, so it makes sense. Yeah, no, and that's 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 true, mini packs. But generally, we just don't see a reach that far. Like, it just, it tends to be more of a, because Johnny and I are Canada, uh, well, UK and Canada, respectively, we just tend to see more of a Europe, North American following. And that's probably due to when we record live, when we publish, like that kind of stuff. It was all kind of in the middle of the night in Singapore, right? I can't remember what the time difference is, but it's like 11 hours. I, and I feel bad. I feel like, oh, somebody, is it Jumbo Sale? Somebody in my community is in Singapore. Jumbo Sale, and there's a couple of other people too that are on that side of the world. Somebody's in Taiwan and somebody's in Singapore, and I can't remember which is which. Which is super cool. I'm sort of in the way. Oh, I just broke something off of that crap. That's pretty good. It's hard to tell. Like I flip flop back and forth between what's lighter, the stripped mangrove or the mangrove planks. The mangrove planks have a few highlights in it, but then overall, I feel like I read, I read the um, the stripped mangrove wood as lighter. Ranger subscribed before they took off. Thanks so much, Ranger. Don't forget to connect your Discord and your Twitch, and you can join us in the in the Discord between streams now. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Probably don't need that there. Can I do it here? No. Mini block space. That's what probably popped off. Not a huge fan of that, but I prefer it outside. That might change a bit when we get going on the tower. Yep, looks fine to me. Time to move on up. 
probably easiest. Okay, so we're going to be doing the same sort of gradient on this tower, and some of these I think are visible inside. Not by a lot, though. I should probably go take a look inside and see where those all line up. So right above the bookshelves, we're not going to see a heck of a lot of those. These we'll see more prominently, so we might have to... I'm going to do a pass around the base of the entire thing with what I want to do, and I'm going to see if it looks terrible inside. So that's half of it. Doesn't look too bad. And we can again add the signs and stuff in here. Although, I guess we have to pick which ones. I do think I might want to avoid putting bricks on top of bricks. It might be better to handle those with another rack with planks that looks okay it's mostly stairs anyway so there's not going to be a lot of texture happening And then, yes, I had these going on the corners. Whoops. Oh, I got that right. Thought I placed that in the wrong spot. And I don't think I want them any higher. Actually, that might be... Yeah. Oops. Oh. No, slab is better. Never mind. Slab or full block? Slab. That's all the same. Patrice, good to see you again. What's up? I'm glad you're feeling better. Being sick is no fun. So all of this is hidden from the inside. I 
Guess I should just wait and sleep. It's a little weird, but I think it'll grow on me. Steven ESC hanging out in chat. A three month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer has entered the third month. Thanks for the shout out for Cosmic Steven. Good to see you. Hope you're feeling better too. Everybody's sick. Not me, but like several people in the chat are not feeling well or, or have been not feeling well and are now no longer. So nothing's going to matter there. This is going to be either a plank or another rack. Maybe I'll just leave that the way that it is. So if I wanted to create some lighter blocks, they're going to have to be up higher. That'll work well there. This has got this here. It's going to be hard not to make this mirror itself. It was beautiful and sunny two hours ago, and now it's snowing. <laughs> Jeez. Fake spring in Nova Scotia is rough, man. That's all good. Maybe I'll do a light colored block here. And maybe we'll get into a nether rack there. Not so sure about the the amount of nether rack in the bottom row. I think I need to bring in a little bit more of the planks. The nether bricks are really dark. Maybe I need to move the bricks over into the corner more. Yeah, I feel like if I get the bricks maybe over here. That would help.
Sorry, I feel like I've sniffed a couple times on mic. Usually I try to get to the mute button. Crazy changes in humidity in springtime are messing with my head. I'm not sick, but it just it's al allergy season for me. All right, I'm going to move and fix that. Can't do much about that. Yeah, bringing the bricks in closer to this kind of shadowy area made sense. So I think I'll do the same thing over here. I'll just, I'll move it. I feel like that should stay the way that it is. That's the one spot I might want a pressure plate. It's like a pollen bomb went off. Yeah, we haven't had that much I, pollen so much for me. It's it's the change in temperature and the the heat coming on and going off and like moving dust around. I've noticed I've had to sweep my apartment like twice a week. It's a lot of dust, which I guess could in part be pollen. That's fair. All right, so I need to get some lighter blocks in here. I think maybe that's a slab. What is that? That's a slab. Uh, no, that was a stair. Right, we had did, did that before. So those can't change at all. These can though. And then I'll leave the other one just as it is. And I think we're good. And maybe a little bit more of a gradient on this side if I can swing it somewhere. That's a slab and a stair. It's a full block there. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Maybe I'll just use the um, the sign, but I'll keep it as a plank. And 
this because this is only going to get so complete because of the the nature of all the stairs to get the right shape and silhouette. I think that's good. Yay, roof done. Happy about that. I'm sure I'll notice some things later on, but for now, it's pretty solid. Do you have a fix for the coarse dirt pebble texture not working? I had it as part of your textures, but I take it off and I kind of don't want to look at it's not colored wheat anymore. Yes, uh, I can send that to you slash upload it. Uh, mini packs made a quick fix. Basically, the way that variants work in new texture packs is not how they used to work. So we have to change the way that we do the variants, and mini packs is going to be kind enough to look it up for me. Um, but yeah, I, either I can send it to you, or if you're talking to mini packs in the Discord now, then you can get it from from them. I guess before I put all this away, I should check inside, shouldn't I? And now that we've finished the roof, do one last check without the scaffolding. Yeah, up close, the red bricks are a little bit much, but from farther away, they do the trick, I think. Now we'll just run inside and see if there's anything that's really glaringly causing a problem. That all looks pretty good. Yeah. Didn't mess up my stuff too bad. Of course, I need two more signs. I think we're good. Cool. I do like checking things off. Don't have room for some of this stuff though. These mini blocks can all go back in storage. I think some of these have been placed. They've all been placed. Okay. That I've got over here. Okay. 
Ooh, I've got enough for another netherite ingot. Although I'd have to go get a template. I don't know why I still have that. That can just despawn. And that can come back. That gives us more room. Little trip. No, I haven't, uh, Dad from Bear, I haven't changed the name of the inn. We were calling it the West Hill River Inn because that's the West Hill River that's behind it. But there's the West Hill Inn. Um, but here's the thing. I could keep that as the West Hill River Inn and I could change this other inn to maybe the Spruce River Inn because it's, it's near the Spruce River as well, right? So this inn right here with the brick, the brick um, chimney it's just called the West Hill Inn because I didn't have any good names. The inn on the east side is called the Smiling Goat. Like it's got nothing to do with geography or the geology. So we can call this, you know, the Spruce River Inn, but it probably won't fit on that sign. So whatever it is probably has to be roughly the right amount of characters. So I don't know. The Spruce Inn might be fine. But this is the Spruce River here. Because I like the West Hill River in. I think that sounds good. So like, if we, can I edit this? To... Spruce in. I mean, it works. Problem solved. Oh, let's take out the the. That's a good idea, too. Try that. Oop, death. Yeah, I like that better. I mean, I like the fact that the name is there. I wish, I prefer the way that the, the layout is, like with the and in being the same size. Yeah, close enough. It is. It's tough to see in the edit. Yeah. And that's not gray. That's white. That's the white. Again, Minecraft just not being... I really think that these people in Minecraft world could have white paint, you know? <laughs> I really wish that it was easier that way that the signs colors would be true that would be an excellent resource pack it would be dying your signs would be the true color because your only other option would be to like use a glowing sack on it and then it just looks neon and completely not medieval right Let's actually take some of this over here. Oh, grass is full. You know what? Five grass. 
Don't care. have paper over here somewhere too. Go. Don't ask me why I have all this stuff. I just never throw anything away. put away too and then that's it don't really have any more space I do have an extra shulker box though so cool five grass blocks yes they are now unattended for eternity I think that looks pretty good. So the only thing really left to texture and finalize on the outside is the chimney. And it's mostly done. But I think I want to get this wall sorted out first and this back path. Because the chimney just needs like a little smokestack on it. I'm not going to have, I don't think I'm going to do anything with a campfire. I guess I could put a little one up there. Actually, what would that look like? We had a smokestack, just kind of sort of like that, but not as big. Actually, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, maybe we'll put a campfire up there. I think I like the way that it looks now. I think I just want to maybe pepper in a couple of extra andesite blocks farther up. I think I just need to get, I think maybe a stair or something right there could work. It's a little chunky. And I also want to add to the tree. So as you're coming along the road here, I think I want to see a little bit more tree. Actually, we might as well just do that now. Not the tree, the chimney. Campfire, trapdoors. I wonder if tough would look good in the chimney. Should be all we need. So I think, like, I want to put a polished one here, but you can see that inside the hearth. And I think that looks better as pure andesite. So we've got a couple of blocks here we can't really change. But these back ones, I might be able to do a little extra with. Mm, it's a little bit too much. That's pretty good. Maybe that's what I need just to break it up a little bit. Uh, 
that's going to be inside, I think. Yeah. I think I like that better. That kind of makes a line all the way around, so we'll skip that. Didn't like the way that it lined up. Never throw anything away. Joel, throw something away immediately. I said, do as I say, not do as I do. Did you miss the memo? So I think maybe I'll change this. Oh. I guess I can put the stair this way. It's a little bit better. And then what I was hoping to do, I forgot to bring a wall with me. We'll try, we'll try the campfire at that height. And see what that looks like from a distance. Might be too tall. Let me just check all the notes you asked me to take down. Fair. Yeah, I'm not sure about the block. That's cool. It doesn't even show up on this side. This is actually, a, I'd rather have my player with me so I can see what it looks like from the ground. Good idea to add the smoke for sure. I think that's the right height. I don't think I'd want it. I certainly would have wanted it any higher. Lower might look a little bit too close to the roof. So, I mean, this spruce thing is either going to be where it is now or one block lower. And I would imagine one block lower might look just not quite right. Yeah, one block lower would be too close to the roof, I think. So we're good. It's just a matter of deciding what block goes underneath that. Nice. I like getting things right the first time. So unfortunately, if we do this, you're going to be able to see the bottom of this. Oh, that looks silly. Okay. We'll just do regular andesite and leave it at that. I guess I could try a, a polished one.
No, I think maybe I need to put a polished one farther down. And maybe here. I'm so glad that breaking a block underneath a fire doesn't remove it. Now that feels really evenly spaced. It's all right. We'll, uh, we'll just have it go straight into sight. I do want to see if I can throw some signs up there. That might be kind of fun. We need gray wood. Like I really wish that, I mean, I, azalea wood should be more like a white, but I, I really wish we had a gray, gray wood or stone signs. Yeah. I'm just curious about layering signs underneath here, what it would look like just for something different. see what it all looks like at night. That's the only unfortunate thing about the campfires is they really light things up. So your roofs feel very bright. Your chimneys light up from underneath. That looks okay with the double, but I think the single was just a little bit too, too skinny. Still got so much to do. This is the problem with scope creep? Yeah. I don't need to finish all of the farms. I just want to finish all the stuff that's next to the town. So I'm not worried so much about, about this. Uh, it's more about like just immediately here, like this section here, I really want to polish up. And then I feel like I could walk away at any time. You know, not to say that it'd be finished, but just to kind of give myself a break. We need some road lights. That's for sure. So it's a little bit brighter than you'd expect just because of the can the torches Ooh, we have around. Uh, just to kind of light up the immediate area. But the lantern on the front looks good. We'll have to figure out a way to light the back because we haven't really placed any lanterns on the back. Yeah, there needs to be a light coming from in there, I think. Cool. More break time. Yes. Good call. Because I'd, I'd like to try and tackle the, the wall. I'd like to try and get a look at the wall. Uh, creeper head somewhere. Oh, it's over there. So yeah, this is going to need... I'm not sure where we're going to be able to plunk a light down. Maybe we'll have to hang it off of something. I could put it there, although I really like that transition. A couple spots need a little bit of work. Nope! Where did you come from? I guess he walked over. 
That was close. Uh, Rayhole, thanks very much for the kind words. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. Uh, I might as well leave a lot of this stuff in my inventory. Not the polished stuff. But everything else. Potentially those? Cool. So I'm going to step away for another quick break. I know that uh, I normally wrap up around three, but I've got some extra time today. So I'd like to get a little bit more done. Uh, there's not, I mean, we did a lot of work on the roof, but it, it doesn't feel like there's been a big visual change. So I'd like to do some landscaping and stuff to sort that out. So uh, once again, I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
It's starting to feel pretty good walking out here. There's quite a lot to look at. We'll have to figure out what's going to happen here. I'm, re I'm really stumped on what we're going to do in this area. Really, really no clue. No clue at all. I guess I should get a hoe. Thank you, Cosmic. And maybe I'll get some moss too. I'll have to sleep in a second here anyway. So the idea is going to be to try and create some uh, berry bushes and rose bushes at the front here. And in order to do that, I may have to double up on the depth. But the first thing I want to tackle is how we're going to actually come in here. And that feels like a pretty good way. I feel like this might be better off as a slab. Maybe we can put the stair back here. So I'm just going to do this in terms of form first, and then I'll work on potentially the um, textures and stuff after that. Also, if these are all slabs, I'm just going to save myself the pick block time and just do that. I feel like that, that feels pretty good. We'd remove this. So this is sort of like a gutter or side of the street. And so whenever I kind of go off, I like to pull that in a little bit. And do I like that there? I feel like the, the light and the sign would probably be in a place more like that. sort of blocks the front window so maybe maybe we move that over a bit mm, that doesn't really feel like it's over the walkway though so i guess here is probably the best bet we'll just make it thinner that's probably the better way to do it I'll worry about what the light is going to be after. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we'll take this down. And I don't think I want to have a gate. It would be tricky on this angle anyway. And I might actually want to change the angle of this road. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's better. I guess I don't necessarily need that there then. So then this starts to feel a little bit funny, so maybe we'll do that. Obviously we get lost in the shuffle, but we can change the textures. Um, the empty space you're just talking about would be sort of decorative mosaic work. You have one that is an anchor in Southport. Oh no, no, this is going to be like grass. The idea is that you wouldn't want to build anything too close to this just because of the defense of the walls. So I'm thinking there's going to be, I like the idea of this little wagon pullover and I think maybe I might put some sort of like little market thing here. So that'll take up like a chunk here. But then this area here, I'm probably going to do a lot of just custom work. And there's certainly going to be a couple of trees, like nothing ginormous like this, but just there's going to be a couple of trees, I think along here. There's going to have to be. Wandering trader with a full inventory. Joy. Uh, did you get a new head, Cosmic? Looks cool. Uh, I do want the prismarine and the wool. Oh, and flowering azalea. So flowering azalea, lapis, purple concrete, white wool, and um, prismarine. Oh, and chiseled stone bricks. All right, this is going to be annoying to put some of this stuff back. All right, white wool, that's here. Chiseled stone bricks is here. Purple concrete. There. Prismarine. White wolf flowering azalea, that's over here. Lapis. And then I just need emeralds. Prismarine, white wool, flowering azalea, purple concrete, chisel stone, bricks, and lapis. Cool. Done. Easy breezy. Thank you for your service. And the wandering trainer wandered off, never to be heard from again. I wish they wouldn't stick around so much after you traded with them. They should, like, walk away and disappear. Oh, I should have brought over some of the other blocks, too.
Good stuff. Getting low on rockets. Oh, that's a fence. Do I have anything else that I could add to my shulkers? I feel like I've got a lot of these different boxes in here. Putting coral in that would be would be cool. I'm thinking about items that I can put on instead of blocks. Like what kind of item could you put on the nether? Like gold, glowstone dust works for the nether. One of these crimson roots would work. Or a mushroom. Probably the roots. Although it's mostly wood, so maybe the mushroom. That was my face and defense. Yep. Together. Not for the first or the last time. So I like the way that this is coming together. I feel like this would continue off in this direction. might not stay stone. I think it might get a little bit more textured. Uh, we could have some flowers in there too. I'm just thinking like if I wanted to do a combination here, this is where I'm going to need the bushes and the dirt. bushes we go uh, I put I put all that bone meal away didn't I whoops all right Wrong one. It's weird how the white shulker boxes are the only gray ones. In the inventory, I guess I should say. Well, they all get grayed out in the hotbar. That's weird. I don't remember that happening before. I wonder if that's because of another pl data, uh, another thing that I have in here. Another mod. I need azalea bushes too. Let's just put all the wood back. I think I need the oak. So if I want some of these to be a little bit more layered, then I think we'll probably end up doing more stuff like this. Right, and then this could be a bush. Or 
or vice versa. Oh, does that not have silk touch on it? It does not. All right, that's good to know. Whoops. They are not the right color, are they? Maybe we do have to use mangrove. Oak, jungle, and mangrove. I think mangrove looks the best. Maybe not all the time. I don't know if I've left enough room for this to really get doubled up. Yeah, they do look a little bit better with more in front of them, so I'm wondering if I need to move this out to give that just a little bit more room. And then we could also layer things behind it too. Yeah, that feels really close to the path, too. Yeah, see, maybe this is where this needs to get pulled back in a bit. But then it loses its subtlety a bit. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But maybe the thing to do. Hmm. Just maybe just not have this here. That's better. Uh, sunflower planes. I think so. Yeah, the mangrove 
is not I wonder if I have to go with like jungle or something or just oak It's definitely not azalea Yeah, they all just look. Maybe I just don't need to use the berry bushes. The berry bushes work so well in a taiga. What if I swap the berry bushes for poppies? Still doesn't help the bush situation. Is it only crops that keep farmland? I guess flowers don't keep farmland from coming back. That's annoying. Speaking of, I guess I could put crops out here too. I've got custom beetroot and potatoes. Randomly 505, hello. So the potatoes look like that. Beetroot is too magenta. Carrots too orange. Could try potatoes. Actually, do I? Ha I might have some over here. And no room. Uh, that back there. Yeah, the beetroot I think is going to clash. I could maybe put some more of that out back, I think. That matches the roses a lot better. Maybe I can just use those. I'm going to have to put bushes somewhere. It's just very bright. It just doesn't feel very dense without the bushes. It's not it's not so much it's not the bush height, it's the bush color that's just really off for some reason. I guess acacia works pretty well. I 
Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, unfortunately the potatoes are just a little bit too much. Decent idea. That's the kind of vibe I was going for. And then I can come back in there with um, some different dirt textures for the path to be a little bit nicer. I think I like the way that that's laid out. Are you back again, honestly? I'm just going to murder you. Yep. I do not want to listen to this dude. Oops, how did I miss? Ancients coming in with a raid. Thanks so much for sharing your folks. What were you up to on stream today? I think that's pretty good. Obviously the wall will need some work. I'd maybe put the cart before the horse a little bit here. Had to reroll a guy for like 30 minutes to get sharpness five from the trading hall. Oh, wow. That's a lot of, that's dedication. I would have moved on. Kind of want some sort of little gate or something would be fun. I don't know if they need to be that high. Maybe we can just do slabs. That's actually a little bit nicer. Yeah, I think that's the vibe. I think that's the vibe. Prowl! Prowl coming in with a raid right after Ancients. Thanks so much. I'll, uh, now that you're both here, I can back up and show you what we've been working on. So we've been working on this inn for the last few streams. And I'm just start, trying to sort out what's happening with these front gardens. But today we finished the gradient on the roof with the nether bricks, nether rack, 
and mangrove and a bunch of different signs. Did the same thing on the tower. Oh, I still have, still have some scaffolding. Thanks very much, Prowl. Folks, if you haven't already checked out Ancients and Prowl, please go do so on Twitch to see what they were up to. Uh, folks, if you're new to my channel, if you've not heard of me before, I stream and podcast full time. That's my job. I co-host and produce the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs, and I do the Citadel Cafe podcast with myself and some friends. And right now, we are working in a three-year-old plus build on a nearly seven-year-old server. I'm just kind of messing around with the plan for this front walk area. I think that looks pretty good. I'd like to have more of a something to differentiate. I wonder if this would look better if it was grass instead of the coarse dirt. Have the coarse dirt as the path and then have the flowers as grass. Most flower beds, though, are dirt on the bottom. That does provide a better separator, though. I guess I could just go with a much darker, darker palette for the path. I mean, I could do any kind of mossy or grassy block, as long as I can plant a flower on it. I'm thinking more about the path right now. Uh, mangrove. Spruce. But once again, thanks very much, Prowl and Ancients, for the raids. Mm. What can I get rid of? I guess the slabs. Prowl, what were you up to on stream? Or if, if Prowl saw you come in, but folks from uh, creating a river waterfall? Okay, cool. What did Prowl say? Just did a lot of people saying Prowl Raid. Welcome in. Um, I don't see anything from Prowl. Wrong way. Mangrove is backwards. So if I did that and this was still coarse dirt, we might still lose the path. Oh, wrong thing. That, I'm not really a fan of that rose bush back there. I kind of wonder. 
Prowl's gone to celebrate his birthday. Oh, very cool. Who's putting finishing touches on uh, Prowl's sorting beast and creating a river waterfall. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. I think that's a little bit better. Yeah, we still kind of lose it if it's not got green underneath it, right? I guess we can kind of mix and match. Yeah, it just gets a little bit too noisy if I do it this way. That's not too bad. Uh, azalea leaves do not look good next to the roses. They're a weird color. Sweet Sandy, get the tier one sub to Prowl. Not here, but it's a birthday sub. Thanks so much, Sweet Sandy. That's very generous of you. I've at least given enough room, so I'm I'm not too worried about that. So now I think I can probably come in here and add in little bits. And my video strobe is back. Yay. That's fun. Said no one ever. I'll mess around with some more textures afterwards. It's not like I'm going to be walking along here anyway. I feel like that looks pretty good. I like the that idea of this being a full size wall, so maybe we'll throw in another stair here. Yeah, now I'm not sure about this. This might be better off as a bush. Yeah. Cool, and then we can kind of do the same thing down here, 
where the path would be, I guess, sort of like that. Or maybe even just to there. And that could be like another tier of the garden. But I think I want to focus on the uh, wall. And I want to go back over here and look and see how I did this wall. Because this wall I'm really happy with. So I'm missing andesite. He's a lot more tough. A lot more cobble. That's good. I guess it helps that that wall is like two blocks tall. have mossy stairs? I thought I did. Whoops. What I should do is have a pair of shears. Probably instead of the hoe. Be a better... Better use, I think. That way I can place grass where I want to. Lawrence, hello, welcome in. I think I do like the green underneath the leaves where we can swing it. Maybe this needs to be another one of those slabs to match. They are acacia leaves. Yeah, those are the ones that managed to match the things the way that I wanted to. Yeah, that feels almost like on purpose. I wonder if I could do something similar here. Yeah, that feels more like it could be the top. And if I put another slab there, it won't connect to the wall. That helps that feel like an entrance. Looks super bright on the on the map, but kind of makes sense.
think we'll get there and eventually I'm not sure where this wall goes. I guess I never thought about where it's going to connect. Maybe this at some point it should actually come up a level. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not crazy about the grass. It's weird how it just looks so bright. And I don't know whether the wall is going to stay there, whether it's going to continue, but maybe we can just kind of put a little cap on it just for now. Not quite. Better. Yeah, it's all right. We'll have to worry about other things. I think I might put some more bushes and flowers in here. Oh, I don't have any dirt. I uh, don't need that. Would a fern work there, or is that likely to be the same color? Uh, I don't... Fern might be something that could work. You know, there it's not too bad. Although, maybe I could actually go flower there instead. Especially if I can get one of those fun funky ones. Yeah, cool. Moss might actually work to help with the the path as well. I need to wrap things up, Cosmic, actually. So if there's anybody that you want me to raid, you want to put a suggestion in chat, that would be great. Uh, this is going to face the other way. Is 
the slab. Maybe andesite. I really like putting these finishing touches. It really helps. Yeah, I think we'll need some more more flowers up in here. So we'll probably put that there and maybe not more red. That would be a good spot for probably an, a blue way, I think. To match the ones we have in the windows. They're quite bushy when we get the, the data pack to work right, too. Yeah. Good. And we might be able to get something else happening back here, too. See, now here, what's the difference in this biome? Like, is it all the same? Sunflower plains. I guess it's just because it's next to the roses, because these are azalea, and they look fine. Is it transitioning? No, sunflower plains the whole way. I think it's just the the green on the roses didn't look good with the azaleas. I think that was the issue, which is fine. I just you know I like mixing things up. Scotsman, Megabyte, Cat, the Possum. Uh, cool. Thank you. Let's go. We just raided Megabyte yesterday. But we can do that again. I know Megabyte's working on partner. And that's probably fun. We'll do that. We'll raid Megabyte. They're uh they're a good time. I think y'all enjoy it. So yeah, I think that's that's the mission. Like you can kind of see what I want to do. Obviously, I don't want this whole thing to be cobble. And I don't want it to be ginormous. I want I want the the place to have an edge. Now in some places I think it might be worth it to have a two high wall instead of just the one. So we might landscape that a little bit. And the wall might continue right to the tree. I don't know what's going to happen back here. I need to work this rock into things. So we're here what's probably going to happen is going to be a layer where there's going to be probably some bush happening in front of the wall to help keep that separate. Oh, scaffolding. Take that down. Yeah, probably some layers there. We'll have to see what's what's going to happen. I'm not sure what else we could. Maybe we could put a wood pile back there too. Because there would be access, like you could you could walk around this way. It's tricky, but you could do it. But I think once we start layering in a bunch of roses and stuff, it'll look really cool. So imagine more roses here as well and then more plants going around the corner i think it'll give like a good sort of grounding to that and we may, we may want to bring in a little bit more of those blue a as well in some places I mean, maybe along here we need some flowers too. Yeah. Cool. Well, folks, thanks ever so much for the raids and for hanging out. Make sure you're following if you've enjoyed what you've seen today and you want to see more. 
We'll be back working on this tomorrow at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. You can uh, follow on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And you can, of course, uh, check out things like the Spun Chunks podcast, wherever you download your favorite podcasts, and the Citadel Cafe podcast. They're both free. Spawn Chunks is about Minecraft. Most of you are probably interested in that. Uh, we're going to be talking to uh, Mog Swamp, I believe, on Monday, myself and, and Pixelrev, so that'll be fun. And you can uh, listen and, and subscribe wherever. Uh, if you are listening on a platform, make sure you hit that subscribe button on Spawn Chunks because that way you'll always get uh, the nudist, um, the newest downloads whenever they're out. We publish that every Monday. Uh, thanks ever so much for the subs and the gift subs. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to check out the Patreon. If subs are out of your wheelhouse, if they're a little bit too expensive, because I know that uh, Twitch just raised its prices in a couple of different countries, then check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's only $2, which is less than a price of a cup of coffee. And it is uh, going to get you access to the same Discord as the Twitch sub would. So uh, check it out patreon.com slash joel duggan very much appreciate all of the time and efforts this afternoon thanks for the uh, modding cosmic and sweet sandy you're awesome as always and i'll see you tomorrow which is friday right friday friday tomorrow yes see you then bye for now